Okay guys, enough time has passed. I thought that I would give my top 10 favorite hut cards throughout the year so far. So if you're just starting out or if you've got a team full of legends, here are my picks for the cards that you should go and acquire or at least try out. I'm No Sleeves 12. So if you've caught any of my prior videos or been in my stream Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, you'll know that I have one of the better teams on PlayStation. Yes, tons of money was involved. Yes, I get free packs from EA. Regardless, I've spent a ton of time in the game. I've tried out almost all the high-end cards, so I thought I would give you my takes on the, my f most favorite cards that I've gotten throughout my time since the launch day. So let's jump in with number 10. Number 10 is the 84 overall thanks to giving Dubnik. I had this card since he was released. He's a big bodied goaltender and for whatever reason, I don't really think goalies matter all that much. He was one of the best that I've used throughout my entire time in Hockey Ultimate Team. Currently, you can get him for under 10k and I would 100% recommend trying him out. If you need BU as a goaltender, uh, you can look at his other ones. I believe his primetime has BU. Uh, there's obviously better versions of him now, but he's extremely cheap, and you can pick him up right now, and I guarantee you he's going to do just as well as anyone else. So, Next up is the legend Al Iafrady, the 88 overall. You can still create him by trading in gold collectibles for him. He was one of the first legends I got, and he was on my team until basically, uh, I would say, about a month or two into the game. Um, he wasn't replaced. His shot is unreal. If you, again, follow my streams and whatnot, you know that I don't like using defensemen on defense in this game. Their shot has just been nerfed so much. But Al afraid he's got an absolute cannon, and you can get him anywhere between 100 to 120 k That's where the price point is right now, but I would 100% recommend trying him out. Dude has a missile. Number 8 is the 90 overall Marcus Nasland. Again, another card you can make. Now, if you don't have a full Legend team or if you started later in the year, like Ally of Frady, Marcus Nasland's a little bit lower now with the 90 overall, but he had great speed, great shot, and BU. One of the better cards to create. I had him on my team for a very, very long time, and he was always fantastic. You can get him from anywhere between 200 to 300k. I probably wouldn't go over 220, 250 uh, in that range. Number seven is Mike Gardner. This one you get for scoring a ton of goals, 2,000 to be exact. He is definitely worth the grind. He is still on my team. And again, if you know my team, it's extremely stacked. He's still there. Got a great shot, 99 speed with the BU Synergy. He's just one of the better cards to have on your team and totally worth the grind. Number six is the Thanksgiving Master Set, Patrick Kane. I just replaced this card on my team. And I had him ever since Thanksgiving. So he's extremely fast with a good shot. But it was his deking that made him so much fun to use. There's a few moves in the game as far as deeks go that are tough to pull off. For whatever reason, the players don't want to complete the animations. This Patrick Kane card I never had a problem with. He's been extremely fun to use. And you can get him from anywhere between 270, 260 to like 320k. Uh, I wouldn't really go anywhere over 300, especially this late in the year. But awesome and a fun card to use. Number 5, the legend Yvonne Cornway, the 92 overall. That's what I currently use, to be honest. His 86 is fine as well. It has BU still. Um, for whatever reason, from the start of this game at launch, this card has roasted me senseless to the point where I had to go out and get his legend. And he's just so quick down the wing. He's so easily able to straight line. And then that wrist shot is super easy to fire short side wristers with. Uh, you can get him for anywhere between six to 700k. I wouldn't create him. I would definitely buy him at this point in the game, but he is 100% worth it. Just an extremely useful and fun card to use. Number four, the 93 Brian Leach. I had this card since he the day he was released. Again, I'm not a big fan of putting defensemen on defense, but he's obviously the exception because look at that absolute cannon for a shot from the point. Slap shots far side on the D to D one timers in this game are super effective. And Brian Leach is one of the best defenseman cards to use. He is a little bit slower, so you want to have BU activated if you're going to use him. You can find him for anywhere between 600 and 700K. Still going to be useful. Uh, once he's out of packs, though, he does spike up in value and he has held his value this whole year so far. Number three, we've got the 94 overall Joe Sackick. This card is a grind to get, especially if you started off later in the year. 
100% recommend doing the grind, though. He's been my first line right winger for I don't know how long. Uh, just an amazing shot down the wing with that wrist shot accuracy and power, as well as that great speed. He's one of the best wingers in the game if you can get some center to actually complement him well. Number two is the 94 Timo Solani. I was fortunate enough to get him the first day he was released. Doesn't have the 99 speed, but with BU, it's obviously very quick, and he just has that great shot the whole way through. There are cards creeping up to him to be better as far as the stats go, but he's been one of the best I've had on my team ever since I put him on there, and uh, I would totally recommend. Just fun to use, great hands, just an awesome card. You're looking at about a mil to get him, though, just because of how rare he is. Again, worth the price if you have the coins. And number one, the 91 Bernie Jeffreon for defense. Guys, if you've watched my streams or YouTube videos, I've been saying this for months, that Bernie Jeffreon is a cheat code from the point in the offensive zone, and he's got the 99 speed to make sure he doesn't get burned by uh, on defense. It's basically a cheat code, guys. The far side 1D to D one-timer with the 99 slap shot accuracy and power is out of control. He's gotten 60 goals for me in about 250 games. That doesn't sound like a lot, but think about it. When he's only been playing defense for me, it's out of control. Even if it doesn't go in, it's either a big juicy rebound or just wide, guys. I would 100% recommend him. He's my favorite card so far in Hut. So, guys, here is a current look at my team. I've got the 99 Lemieux and Gretzky with Sakic. Gotta say, Mario's been a point per game. Gretzky's been basically a point per game for like 400 games. They're worth the grind. They're end game cards. They're the best. Uh, the 95 Zetterberg I just got. Not really a big fan. Don't really notice him. McDavid's great speed with Solani. Then we've got the Cornway, Trache, and Makita. I love Cornway. Just straight lines. It's the like it's fantastic. Third, fourth line, we've got Lafontaine, Bobby Clark, and Kucherov. I really want to move Clark, but... Uh, I just don't really find anyone best at center for my fourth line. Then we've got Jeffrey on and Pop Van. I'm telling you guys, Jeffrey on. Followed by Yari Curry and Leach again, forwards on D. Then with Gartner and Medano. In net, I've got Sawchuk and then Grant Fear with the 4BU. Just the, probably one of the best backup cards, if not the best backup card in the game. If you can get him, now that he's out of sets, though, he's kind of expensive. But again, guys, yeah, you just want to play around and find what is your favorite cards. It's not all about just the best stats, because some cards that I've used specifically, like Ted Lindsay, I find uh, just isn't very good, um, and those are higher rated ones. So again, guys, I hope this helps. Hope that you guys, you know, like those cards. If you don't, let me know in the comment section. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I'm No Sleeves Twelve. Please subscribe, guys. Have a good one.